Alright guys, so today we're talking about a whole lot of DC news. Um, we've got the reveal of the Titan trailer that just came out. We've got the, the, the reveal of Black Manta, who looks like Black Manta. <laughs> um, Comic-Con is this week, so we're still waiting on our Aquaman trailer, so hopefully we'll get that soon. And, you know, we got some other news with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, or I just like calling him The, the Rock. We got this awesome, crazy trailer for <laughs> DC's Teen Titans, um, or Titans as it's being called. Titans is DC Universe's uh, flagship show. It's like their, their big streamer that they're banking all their pop popularity on. The trailer is uh, kind of cool. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, so I'm just going to put that out there. Like, I didn't think this was looking good at all from any of the pictures that we all saw um but what i will say what they seem to have gotten right from the trailer and everything is starfire so i remember in like there was a lot of hate concerning like uh they casted a black actress to play her uh her, she her skin tone and if she was going to be able to play in an orange alien somewhat uh, apparently this was a worry right um <laughs> i didn't know uh, you had to be a certain race to play somebody that's already an alien, an orange alien at that. But whatever, we we, we were there. Um, so she looks really, really good. And one of the biggest haters of them all, uh, if you see her channel, uh, her name's uh, Grace Rudolph. She has had a big deal about that. But this even forced her to eat her words. And like the whole costuming, I'm not sure that if that's like their true costuming or not. I think it's going to go beyond that, but definitely a lot better than I thought. Now, what I will say is, I don't know if you guys remember this. There's a channel out there. I think it's called like Aisha Hawk. Um, it's this guy who started a YouTube channel, but he started off by making a, a Netflix type fan series about Nightwing, about Dick Grayson. And he did this and he put it on YouTube and he shot it. It was quite successful. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's pretty cool. But... With this compares to what DC's putting out, like his was shot way better, and this kind of looks like a fan film, and it's like I, I don't even know, man. Like uh, it's still the it still has those like quirky cosplayish type costumes that so that I mean that that's like one of my main negatives. It, it just looks like something that was shot somewhere else and it was brought to America. So now we have this Dick Grayson who's. Not really Dick Grayson. Um, he's got, like, the characteristics of Jason Todd for some reason. Like, he's literally... From the trailer, it seems like he's literally killing people. <laughs> like, snapping necks. Uh, stabbing them. Shooting them. Um, Hawk and Dove kind of look like badasses. <laughs> so, it's it's going to be cool to see, like, this first episode and see, see where it's going. Um, my only worry is, is this enough... For DC to hook you guys to spend $74 or $79.99 up front for a whole year of DC Universe. Like, is that trailer convincing you guys that you're willing to spend that money? Now, that's... It factors out to being like, I don't know, $6 a month, but they just want all that money up front. Do you think... From this trailer, do you think... <laughs> you would spend that money. It, it, does this trailer sell DC Universe to you? That's what I want to know. So let me know about that, guys. Um, moving forward to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, so it's recently come to light that he's pretty much shut down like all his supposed cameos f from uh, Shazam to Suicide Squad 2 um, in, in favor of him first getting a solo film. Um, to that, I say, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, I think a lot more characters or a lot more actors should be um, willing to stand up to a company like Warner Brothers about these certain situations. He's willing to say, like, I'm not going to go do these cameos that make absolutely no sense until I get a solo movie. And I think that's the type of um, steering we need on this DC ship. Like, we need people who are being contracted to play these characters. 
And uh, to kind of stand up for themselves and say, like, this doesn't make sense or why are we doing that? And I get it, like, all some of these er characters are, this is, some of these actors, this is their first um, big thing. And they kind of, you know, you don't want to step on anybody's toes. You kind of just want to, like, you know, keep your mouth shut, keep your ears open and just go. You know, you're making mass amount of money, so you don't want to, you, you don't want to uh, jeopardize that. I, I totally get that. But what happens in the long run is you get in a company and you make, you're making these movies and then you make these movies that somewhat destroy your career and you can't make any more movies because you're tied to these multiple movies that have just bombed after bomb after bomb after bomb. So I, I'm saying like being able to voice your, your opinion or being in some kind of control does seem to work out. Um, now, most people don't have the selling power that The Rock has. Like he brings over his millions and millions of fans from wrestling over to uh, the movies. So no matter if you put The Rock in the movie, you're you know kind of guaranteeing yourself to that you're gonna sell some tickets. So it, I mean, I could kind of see why Warner Brothers would kind of be like taking his words to heed. Like he kind of has like this free reign to do whatever he kind of wants. But still, I think that's still steering the DC ship in the right in, 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 in the right angle because like he understands that you've got to introduce a character and get people involved before you start like trying to blow your wad on these other movies. So I, I think that's really, really awesome and I'm just hoping other people could follow suit. Um, also so at a, <laughs> we've got our first little image of Black Manta coming down from I guess like a toy display, but it looks really cool and it's his movie costume, and they kept his big freaking head. Like, <laughs> I thought that they would maybe rework it into like a smaller helmet, um, but they were just like, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep his head, and hopefully he gets like the cool laser beams. Um, we also saw some images of Aquaman in his new poster, and he kind of has like the orange and uh, green going. So, yeah, all I need is an outrageous, and I'm sold. If he goes outrageous, like. A movie could be horrible, but it will be great to me. I, I, I'm going to think it's awesome just because he, they got him to say it. So I think that that would be super, super, super cool. Um, but yeah, as like I said, guys, Comic-Con is this week. And if you're one of the lucky few that got their tickets and are in San Diego right now, I fucking hate you. <laughs> um, congratulations to you. You asshole. No, I'm just joking, guys. Um, but for those who are like me... And they're at home, just waiting and chomping at the bit for any kind of news. Uh, yeah, guys, I will be reporting it to you as it comes out. Um, hopefully, we'll get some good stuff, maybe some more DC things. Because I believe this year, Marvel is sitting out, even though... Or Disney itself is sitting out, even though they pretty much own a majority of Comic-Con. So I don't know how that's going to work if they're just not bringing up Marvel stuff. Or if they're going to show some Star Wars things or who knows. I don't know how that's going to go. But I'm excited for the news that, that's going to come out, guys. So, yeah. Um, as usual, guys, don't forget to, like, hit that like button, subscribe, leave some comments. And uh, I'll stay excellent and I'll catch you guys later.